Hi guys, welcome back to Project Zomboid, Free Nina. Starting episode 12, guys. And uh, what we're going to do this episode is basically kind of finish up what we started last episode. So last episode we had a, went out to the factory and had a absolutely gigantic burn. But towards the end of the episode, it was um, it was clear to us that the burn was incomplete. And there was sort of a secondary horde moving in. So uh, what we're going to do today is sort of phase two of that. Um, I did stay back at the base for another day just because I ended up doing some gear management and so on and lost a good part of the day. Uh, and yeah, we lost a whole bunch of our crop too. So the cabbage actually, I guess, reached maturity and I didn't notice and they all spoiled. So that was that was great. And then uh, disease took out a bunch of others. So it was a little messy, guys. But anyway, we're going to focus on the, uh, the prize, which is to go out and, and try to clear that factory. So um, let's hit the road. I did throw a bit of a repair into the cop car too. I put a new hood and a new uh, trunk on it for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure what if it actually matters, but I know that the hood and the trunk, I think make it a little quieter to run and that's not a concern for us right now, but um, you know, anyway, I think it does increase your metal working skill a bit. So yeah, these, I plan to tow these. I'm gonna tow them on my way back. On, on the way back, um, the last time we were out there, I did do a little bit of towing, pulled a couple of these car cars off the road and cleared out a few of these zombies that were wandering around on the road here, but obviously we're going to do a little more towing there to clear it out. But yeah, it's actually a bit foggy for my liking, but 10 in the morning, it should clear up soonish. This should give us, a bit, give us a chance just to sort of consolidate the horde and uh, initiate the burn. So we're coming into it, guys. It's possible that the hordes shifted around a bit because of the uh, the time that's passed, but um, yeah, there's a few here and there. So what I'm gonna, oh yeah, okay, nice guys, nice, juicy. Oh, very juicy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, yeah, and this is a little dangerous because look at all the saplings that have spread it up here. Let's um, let's try to to bring this in a little. Yeah, it's misting. It's hard for me to see the saplings. Wow. Talk about extreme secondary burn. Let's bring him in. You zombies. Look at you. Wow. I can't believe it. I'm almost in shock that they're coming from so far. Look at this. It's like a never-ending supply of zombies out here in the woods. All the way up to the corner here. Okay, well, let's bring it back. Yeah, this is going to be another gigantic burn. It's like... Wow. It's a major horde, guys. Crystal's got a work cut out for her. I think I bought beta blockers, but now that I mention it, I'm a little hazy on it. It's maybe not my lot in life to bring beta blockers. But um, you'd think she'd be pretty inured to this at this point. Okay, so I'm going to wrap them back just a little bit here. To maybe here. Now let's let's park the car, and we're gonna go tighten him up on foot. Okay, this will do right here. A little bit further. Bit of blood there, guys. Turn it off this time. And let's do it. Let's take some vitamins. I still don't know if vitamins are a perspective thing, like you take them in advance. But anyway. Okay, where's my... I've got my Molotov ready. The other thing I'm not sure about with Molotovs is if you want to have a, a lighter that's 
new or old? Like if a half empty letter works, I, I would assume that the failure probability depends a little bit on that. Yep, yeah, and we bought the shotgun again. You know what? Let's start with the shotgun. Because I think it has best it has the best noise production capability. Wow, that's a long unpack. I should have done that first. Actually, so I think what we're going to do is tighten the horde up first before we set them up. But it's it's pretty sparse. Pretty. Let's drop one of these into them. That'll tighten them up. So I'm going to wrap them around back through the burn region. And then kind of light them up just on the way out to the bottom. I think how much water. I didn't bring that much water, actually. That's a bummer. Considering this is already 1 in the afternoon, so... A little bit um, slightly unprepared there. And this is a really dangerous area because it's so hard to see what's a zombie and what's not. A little careful here. I think it's time to start start this burning, guys. So I can get on the other side of this stuff. She's a little scared. Get that lighter going. Where's the lighter? I don't see it. What do I do with it? Let's do this. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so there it is. The burn has begun. Let's loop it around here, get our shotgun out. Start doing some work. I guess, you know what? I might as well, um, ah, do I even need the beta blockers? Like, I don't know, she's doing pretty well for stress as it is. Oh no, she's feeling it, let's take them. That under control. Go into psycho mode here. Try to wrap it around a bit. Do one of these. It's amazing that not more of them hear that. This is not the full horde. We gotta we gotta wrap it up to the top here. Here we go. So Looking back at the video from last time, it looks like bodies do burn. So I was a little wrong about that. It is getting denser than my liking here. This is super dense, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't like this. I don't like that one bit. It's a dense area. Just feeling it energy wise. Oh. It's a gigantic horde. You know, like it's really a gigantic horde. It's it's huge. Look at this. Let's get a smoke into us. Keep that stress under control. Yeah, we're gonna have to loop back over the bodies. There's no choice. Just for space. Um, uh, 
Oh, that was bad. Wanted to get the, the shotgun, but, you know, let's not die over it. I'd say that this feels even more dangerous than the first burn. Like, I feel like there's more zombies. Like, if that's even possible. No, did we bring food now, now that I look at it? Yes, we did. Junk food. Do one of these. Is the burn following us? Like, I think, yeah. See, we're, we got too far away from the burn. Where's my burn? Here, here's one burning, okay. Couple burning, nice. Here we go. Yeah, we gotta get these guys on fire, because it's already three o'clock. I think it's what it is, I gotta remember to keep calling. Keep redirecting them. Tighten the horde up. Yeah, we're getting some saplings growing in. This is bad. This area is getting super dense. Do this guy. That attitude. Oops. Okay, here comes the yeah the conflagration here. Oh my gosh, more guys. If that's even possible. Drifting in. Stragglers, burning stragglers. Wow, the the shout really is a long distance thing. Oh my gosh. So we just took a, an aiming uh, level. Okay, let's cu let's cut the thread the needle here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back over our burn. The reason I didn't want to go over the burn is I don't want to burn the bodies any more than I have to. Because I want to loot them eventually, maybe, but there's probably like two levels of ele electrical out here in watches. And that scrap is valuable, ultimately. Um. It's a lot of work, these burns, you know? But they're amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, this sort of is the strategy for um, modes of the game where you're not playing with, you know, non-sprinter, regular zombie mode. Um, you gotta just clear them out this way. It's staggering to think of the number of zombies on the map. Like, it's just... I, it's a shocking number. Tens of thousands of zombies on the map. Look at this. You know, we're still encountering large group. Oh my god, look at it down there. Still encountering large groups that aren't burning yet. It's a shocker, but... Four, four kills in one shotgun round. Amazing. Look at this. Yeah, still coming down out of the trees, guys. More. She's definitely putting her workout in for today, that's for sure. I love the spread on that, it's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, this might, there might be a need for a third burn here, guys. Like, I don't want to say it, but it's possible that we need to do a third burn to make this all work as they straggle in. Let's put a shotgun right in. I don't know. I think the shouting's louder than the shotgun somehow, but look at this. Yet yeah, more. It's really hard to see there. Okay, the blockers were off. Look at it. I mean, I just can't believe how many zombies are here. It's astonishing. It's absolutely astonishing. And how many that we haven't 
set on fire yet. I just can't believe it. Yeah, they're still coming. It's, it's just... It is scary. Okay, so we're out of ammo for the shotgun. So once we get back around to the bottom here, I'm going to put it away. And I've got the M119. Sorry, the M1911, that is. Pistol, which it turns out isn't very good. Oh, no, this is not good. Look at the density here. Cut through this. Let's put this thing away. I think I might have one round left for it, but let's not mess around. Okay, so now we're on to the 1911. Get the ammo for it out. Let's un unpack that. Tired. Um, take another vitamin. That probably won't do much. We're gonna probably want to take coffee soon. But the thing about coffee is it kills your water levels. So let's wait till we get actually tired. Try to take a few out here. I can't believe this this death field. Okay, it's a pretty loud gun, at least. One, one good thing about it. But it's very inaccurate. Like, you have to get right up to them before they you have a chance of killing them with it. Even at my level, where I'm like level three or four skill. Where are we? Aiming, level three. Okay, we're not that good yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, so this has been a crazy second burn. Like I would say, debatably bigger than the first. Luckily, it's thinning out a little bit here as they burn down. But I mean, look at the road. Like it's impassable now. We're gonna, we're gonna. Um, yeah, you know what though? But that direction again is there's just really nothing in that direction. So I don't really care if this is an impassable road. But there's still zombies that aren't burning. You know. How is that? Big fire in the forest over there, which I guess is okay. Yeah, they're still coming in, you know, still coming in. It's it's not a great weapon, the 1911. I don't like it. It's um, it's too dangerous. Try to wrap these guys into the fire here. Yeah, big secondary burn. Huge secondary burn here. Yeah. So far, I think we've been pretty good about keeping it away from the gas station. It's 1800 already, guys. Okay, let's wrap them around on the road again, because we've got all that fire burning there. I want to draw these guys back at all, back out of the woods, but Be really careful with their footwork there. Okay. Oh, look at these guys up here that aren't interested. I, deaf, deaf zombies. Oh my gosh, it's a field of watches, guys. Yeah, so this area ended up having like. 2,000 zombies in it or something ridiculous. And yeah, I'm trying to tighten them up again. I'm sure there's stragglers like down below here that I missed, so let's just go take a quick look. Do a couple of shots here. So I'll just work a little skill. Here comes a straggler. Let's do this one with a pistol. Yeah, we're at that point in the run in the burn where you kinda wanna just 
execute the few that aren't burning to expedite things. Because yeah, I think that's going to be our burn. Like it's it's been a good one. Looks like we did pretty much clear out that huge huge horde. One more trip up here just to take a peek. And we may not have to do coffee actually. It was fairly efficient it seems. So what we'll probably do before the light fades is hit the road, go back, rest, and we're going to do our reckoning tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll wait. We'll see out this fire. And I'll probably go do that tow operation I was talking about. And yeah, we'll hit the road. Okay, it won't fell. Okay, let's do this guy. There we go. Okay, so I really don't like being in this area because it's so hard to see... Zombies. It's going to be dangerous to loot it because. There we go. Let's just let these burn out so we know that the fires are out. There it is, guys. Down to just piles of ash. Last fire. Okay, let's go. Nice timing. It's always nice to get home with the, you know, and I get a little rest. But yeah, you know there's another micro horde at least down at the, the factory that didn't get sucked out by all that. But yeah, I, uh, I you know, I, I hazard to think of the number of zombies we've killed in this so far. It's hundreds and hundreds. I would say probably a thousand out there. Nice and quiet down here. Very quiet. That's how we want it, guys. Restful, quiet. And we're nice and very tired. Okay, excellent. Perfect. So let's hit the road. Hey guys, we're home. Things look good. What we're going to do is get a good night's sleep. Uh, I'm going to check all the crops and then we'll, we'll basically head out first thing in the morning. Okay guys, we're waking up. It's 8.20 in the morning. It's looking nice and clear. Um, and yeah, things are good. I checked on Nina. She's fine. She's a little bit, uh, you know, cranky, I guess, but she'll be all right. She's going to be uh, happy to see us when we get back, hopefully with a new stove. So let's hit the road. The one thing I should check is, yeah, so I've got all the car seats. We put one in the back. Let's hit the road, guys. Okay guys, so we're coming in towards the factory complex here, and now is where we find out how effective it really was. I mean, we know it was effective because that was such a monster horde that it would have been, you know, really bad to have to deal with that. It's just a no-go. But yeah, let's let's do a quick drive around to the factory here and see what's what. I'm sure there's gonna be some stragglers, but So the, the the biggest target for me is this lower building here. Looking nice and clear. Ah, a couple. Yeah, of course, right? But yeah, this lower building here, I think, has potentially untold bounties. How are those guys not seeing me right now? Anyway, we'll leave them. We can definitely do those guys with the uh, the crowbar. Yeah, this is nice and quiet. Oh, a couple... Oh. Yeah, look at this. I mean, this... <laughs> how about they're just coming towards me? This this group is, is doable based on the... Um, you know, I could do them with the crowbar if I had to, but... Look at this! Where are they coming from? Get up everybody, come on sleepers. Some sleepers don't even hear that. Yeah, okay, well, we're gonna do another hoarding here. I don't know if this is a burn or not, but I'm definitely gonna have to move them. I want this area clear so we can gas up and do whatever we want without any interruptions. And I mean, there's a lot of them here. If I had more shotgun shells, this would be just doable with that. But it's looking like it might be worth the Molotov. We've got a fair bit of bourbon and stuff, so. Bring them out.
Hey guys, so yeah, they've congregated fairly well over by the uh, the road, but yeah, okay, looks like there's still more coming. Wow. It's amazing that this group here wasn't drawn up to all the, the chaos from the previous day. It's just like, wow. I don't know why that is, but okay. Yeah, so we've got the makings of a pretty good burn here. You know, it's worth the Molotov, I think, to expedite, but I do have to kind of process them before you get too tired. I'm just trying to move them all kind of over onto the road here, and then we'll move them up the road. It's a long process, so I'll check in with you guys when I've got them suitably gathered. Okay, so I pulled up the road just a little bit and took out some stragglers that were on my case. We're gonna just go down and sneak up and eyeball the horde and see what it's doing. Okay. So it looks like some of them are still kind of working their way out. to my last no position. I really want to get as many as possible out of the um, the village. Okay, they're still kind of coming. Yeah. Some of them are still walking north. Yeah. So we got to wait for all these to kind of walk north and group, and then we're going to move, uh, move everybody west. Hey guys, so we're gonna try to bring the, uh, the horde up now. In all its, its ugliness. Okay, so now that I drew them up there, I'm gonna try to loop around a little bit. We'll park the car and see if we can't. Do another burn, guys. Um, yeah, it's really been. Oh, more coming. My gosh. Yeah, so we're just going to want to let this all pass us. It's going to take a long time, guys. But yeah, this is almost a two-day thing. Like, it's really blowing my mind at how huge this population is around here. Okay, guys, so tell you what, it's like, you know, it's already almost 3 p.m. And we haven't started the burn yet. I think what I'm going to do is just do one more, like, hoarding uh, pull here. And, and go back and rest yet again, you know? I think that's what we're going to have to do because... It's just too, it's just too big an operation still to do in one go. Like, I think we have to break it up. Yeah, so that was crazy. I'm gonna stop for a sec here and let that that converge for about an hour maybe, just to make sure they get maximum convergence out of that last uh, alarm pulse. But yeah, like there's another burn in this for sure. So hang tight guys. It's gonna be a long episode. We're, we're doing a lot of work here. So I wanna put this thing to rest though. So yeah, hang in there guys. So I think we're gonna head back for the night. Let them, I let them group up fairly well. And yeah, tomorrow's the day, so. You guys just pulling in uh, home for the night. And uh, yeah, one thing I do want to check is the condition of the car because we did a lot of nasty stuff and I actually had a bit of a car accident on the way home, which, you know, it happens. The brakes on this thing are starting to get a little soft. So let's see what we're dealing with here. 
Um, gee, it's just the one break. And the hood's hurting, so I'll probably put, yeah, I'll put a little bit into the hood, but otherwise it's looking great. So, running over those zombies really slowly uh, doesn't actually do any damage to the tires, or at least much. Maybe a little bit, actually. They're all in the 60s and 70s. I think they're in the 90s before, so. Okay, anyway, guys, I'm going to do a little repair up, sleep it up, and we'll head out again first thing in the morning. Hey guys, so it's a big moment for Crystal here. Actually, we uh, we're gonna have harvest our first uh, radishes here, and um, yeah, we just took a level. It's actually our second radish. I just harvested one before this, but yeah, um, yeah, farming one. So yeah, we're gonna be on our way to farming two pretty soon, and then uh, we have to read another book before we harvest anymore. Now the one thing is that um, I don't think. These didn't go to seed yet. We're not getting seeds from these. So I think we may have to wait a little bit. But we have more radishes over there. So what I think I'm going to do is harvest to try to get level 2 um, farming. Yeah, one more. Kind of hedge our bets. Take level 2. Now we'll read the book for level three and then those ones hopefully we'll get to go to seeds so we don't lose our radishes entirely or we'll have to find more seeds but um but yeah now that we have crops guys i guess we kind of have to turn on the generator for the first time so we're moving into a world where we got to keep the generator running which isn't a huge deal because i have a ton of scrap metal uh, scrap electronics and stuff and we've got unlimited fuel at the gas station so but it's just sort of like a it's a um you know it's a point in the game where you start running the generator so let's Let's do it. Now, I don't actually know. Yeah, so there's, yeah, huge floodlights in here. So we're good. Like, this is now operational place. These things are running. We've got our radishes. Now, oh, that's a lot of radishes. I think what we'll do is um, freeze a bunch of them. Just because, right? Like, what are the chances of us eating that many radishes before? I want to actually wait till we get, in fact, let's freeze them all. Because we're gonna wait till we get we can have a a, sal a proper salad before we eat the radishes. So let's just wait on that. But yeah, guys, here it is. Light. It's nice to have a generator all the way over there, so we don't have to worry about sound. But anyway, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time gardening. I'm gonna go water everything, and uh, and then if we have time, we'll do a little more reading. We're gonna go for our third attempt to clear out that um, factory. And uh, yeah, it's been stubborn to say the least. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and, and do one more burn and hopefully that's it for us guys. So I'll meet you when we get out there. Okay guys, we're rolling into the uh, compound here and um, about to get out and do our burn. But um, yeah, one thing is that last night we ate a can of dog food and it really hurt our mood. So I'm trying to put some candy into uh, Crystal here to change things. But yeah. Okay, so I think this is a good spot. Let's... I guess it would make sense to do one um, alarm ring just to get get everybody kind of warmed up and clustered. So let's do that. Who knows what they did overnight, right? Okay, so that should be good. And let's pull back. Park this thing. Amazingly, they're still kind of coming in from range, which blows my mind, but look at this, you know? Anyway, let's pull over here, and this is going to be the place to, to park it, and then let's go get started, guys. These guys aren't going to burn themselves. Well, they will, but we're going to have to help them. This guy's just annoying me. Just get, get the blood flowing here. Okay. Oh. Ranger jacket. I thought it was a firefighter. Okay. So yeah, hopefully that clusters them up. And I guess we'll put a few rounds into them when we get out here to try to really get it going. I, I didn't see the, the main body of the horde. It's got to be up here somewhere, but... Yesterday I felt like we had a lot more. Okay, it's yeah, it's getting a little active. Yeah, so it's not a gigantic horde, but 
You know, it's something. Just kind of liven them up a bit. Okay, so I think we're pretty much ready. Um, start the party. Let's get the Molotov out. I watch where I'm walking here. It's such a crazy game, you know, like one misstep, one little misstep and you're, you're in the hurt locker. Oh, I unpacked both of them. Okay. Okay. Keep secondary. Quick, quick primary. Okay. Let's try to set this up, guys. Come down here just a little bit. There we go, that's a good shot. Okay, so let the festivities begin. Okay, she's still panicking in there a little bit, despite the uh, beta blockers, so. Yeah, let's, let's slip it back around here. Get all the attention we need here. It's a good size sword. It's deserving of a Molotov for sure. But yeah, Crystal's really putting the work in out here. Like really trying to make it a better place for, for the future. This place had a major, major zombie problem. Just way crazy out of control. Even river, Riverside was, was light compared to this, I think. It's just epic. Come on, guys. Don't get, don't get distracted here. I know you're dead, but... Try to keep it, keep it tight. Keep it together. Yeah, they still, I still lose a bunch here and there. Like, it's... What are you guys thinking? What's going through your minds at this point, you know? I mean, it's probably like worms, but... Okay, let's do some... Let's do some of this. Smoke a bit. Walk and smoke and, and burn and... Reach back and light your cigarette off a burning zombie. That would be... That would be the tough move, but... I don't think Crystal's quite there yet. She's still a little panicky. That's a veteran move. Desensitized. Come on, guys. Look at these stragglers. Get in here. Hey, you. Let's put a couple rounds into this guy here. You had it coming. This guy's in an interesting jacket. I wonder what that is. It's a t-shirt. Okay. Not a jacket. Yeah, so we're going over old territory, but I've kind of given up on trying to do fresh burns. It's like, you know, whatever's here is here kind of thing. Oh. oh the game again, like, hung while I was mid-horde. I don't know why it's doing that. It's scaring me good, though. It could just be the sheer number of entities on the ground right now. It's just stressing my computer out, but I, I don't need that kind of stress. I, when it's... Yeah. When it hangs like that... At least the zombies hang too, but um, when you're driving, it's brutal when that happens because you can, you kind of give up on whatever maneuver you were making, and and then it basically can backfire on you. When you come out of the freeze, you know you have to kind of restart whatever turn you were making, and it's, it's dangerous as heck. Yeah, so here's this is super dangerous because I can barely see these zombies against the the corpses. Basically, I can't tell the live from the dead anymore. Well, the undead from the really undead. The dead from the burnt, I guess I should say, or something. Yeah, this area is really affecting my frame rate. Like, I normally get a pretty good frame rate in this game with, you know, a bit of chunkiness here and there, but this is hurting it. Just, I guess, just loading all this stuff. Because even if they're dead, I mean, I guess the AI turns off if they're dead, but he still has to deal with, I guess, their kit or their bodies or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, stragglers, 
that one with the headband up there, I've got to put a bullet into that one. Because that one, he's never going to make it, you know? He's never going to make it. Yeah. I hope we've got far enough down. Like, I hope where there's not... I, I guess we should walk this posse down because I'm worried that there's a, a horde below that... didn't catch in here so here comes one more but we'll just shoot her yeah there's a couple more in the trees down there guys yeah there's another one but be careful with that Yeah, it's quiet down here. But you know that despite all our efforts, there's still going to be some down in the town somehow that avoided all this. The deaf ones, you know, there are deaf zombies, it seems. Some that really just cannot hear what's going on. And yeah, here they come, you know. All well, these ones, I guess, heard stuff. But yeah, there's still a fair number down here. Jeez, look at this. We need you guys. The par it's not a party without you. Yeah, let's wrap this around. Yeah, this is like a substantial number that are just kind of lurking down here. Gotta get them burning. Yeah, I'll say this is work. Like it's... Crystal's putting in hard work burning these zombies. It's not... Easy. Do another beta. If you're gonna use beta, this is the time. Wrap these ones around. Yeah, a couple more in the trees out there. Tighten it up here. Bring it in on itself. And I am inclined to kind of even go south again. Oh, look at them coming out of the trees. Yeah. Better put a round into these ones because you never know who's in the trees there. Yeah, look at this guy. What have you been doing? Nice headshot. Yeah, let's try to bring him in. There's just, yeah, there's still a bunch of them that were hanging out in the forest. They just missed the party. Walk them around, set them on fire again. When I first started playing this game, I was told, like, avoid guns at all costs because they just draw in every zombie in the world. But you know what? They're actually not that loud. A shotgun's loud, but even still, things like the house alarms are way louder. I find that I, I'm, I find guns to be actually a bit lacking in how much they draw on zombies. I, oh, another long hang. I wish, I don't know why that's happening, but something about the, the amount of zombies we've cooked up here is um, stressing out my system. Yeah, more of them here, guys. Okay, let's... Uh, let's eat a bag of chips, guys. Because, yeah, we're just about done here. And I think then we're just going to go down into town and, uh, you know, once the fire burns out and try to just kill off the last few with, you know, the remaining pistol rounds, which have got uh, 25 rounds. That's really not much, you know. Or maybe just the crowbar, you know, we'll just see. This guy's got a problem. He's not burning. Did that guy. Yeah, the rest are burning. Oh, maybe one's not. I'm amazed she hasn't hit level four aiming yet. Not even close. It's a very, it's a very long slog. That's where having a veteran really pays because I think you, um, I think you, you level faster for aiming. 
what, what's she aiming? Yeah, I think she just, I don't know how to look, how to find out, but it's slow, I think. It's very slow. So yeah, like, um, in terms of like the arc of the, the series, the next big step is to prep our, our place for winter. It's now September the 8th, so we have a lot of time. We've got, you know, two months really to get things sorted out. So I'm not worried about time, but it's going to be a lot of work. And 99% of the work is going to be done off camera to try to, um, you know, make that place amazing. We're going to do a massive renovation. The next thing is, you know, we're, we're probably going to want to do a, an ammo run because we're kind of getting the bottom of the barrel for ammunition. Uh, we have no more shotgun shells. We're out of uh, 1911 rounds, 45 auto rounds. We've got a little bit of this and that here and there, you know, to get us out of tight spots. But I want to have a huge ammo cache. So... In our future, there's a trip to, um, okay, we're getting tired. Let's put away a couple of vitamins. There's a trip to West Point, guys, to do the gun store and possibly the shooting range. And West Point itself, you know, is a whole operation with multiple burns. So just to get, you know, I don't necessarily want to pacify all of West Point, but I don't want to be able, I don't want to do the gun store and like be really stressed out about it. I could probably stealth it, but while we're there we'll probably do a gigantic burn just to we'll definitely herd the zombies and then you know maybe we'll burn them okay, last one here that's all gonna burn out which is good and we're gonna make our way down guys and see what's what and you know there's gonna be zombies left but i might have to just do it the old-fashioned way okay that one's done so let's let it burn out and that's it we have one more molotov but i really don't plan on using that now yeah, so I mean, clearing the trailer park, very optional. You know, there's probably some decent loot there, but I'd say clearing the um, the gas station was the big priority so that, you know, we can gas up here. I want to have a secondary gas station operational. Yeah, so the trailer park's looking quiet-ish for now. But yeah, you feel that hitch on the frame rate. That's, even dead zombies are accounted for, I guess, somehow. But once we, we unpage that region, it should hopefully come back up for us. Here, and what I'm going to try doing, guys, actually, is just um, quit, quit and jump back in. Okay, so let's see if that did it. No, it's still hitchy, guys. Um, wow. So, yeah, we, we kind of broke the game with this burn. Like, it was that big. Okay, yeah, so we had a huge buffer between us and the gas station. And yeah, of course, there's still some zombies there that didn't get the message. So let's... Oh, we're a little tired. Not ideal, really, but... I don't know if that was the safe way, but. Yeah, these are the ones that just didn't get the message. The trailer's actually nice. Um, I could see using that uh, behind our, um, our truck. We're probably gonna need it. That's gonna be wise. So let's unhitch it. I hate that. Uh, The V button turns off the the UI when you... Can I pull this out of the way? That would be... Yes. Very nice to have that. Okay, it's out of gas, but... It's no problem. We're at the gas station, so... All right, let's go see what's what. Nice and quiet, guys. This is what we wanted. Let's go take a look inside. We're gonna need a generator for this place, but. 
Yeah, guys. Check the bathroom real quick. Nice. Everything's spoiled and everything. That's okay, though. Uh, okay. Let's drink a pop while we're here. Always good. There's the big victory, drinking a pop. It's an empty gas can. Let's get a gas can. Better check here, actually, carefully. Yeah, nice. It's a great spot. I mean, there's there's a ton of loot. Oh, lighter's nice. A ton of loot here. It looks like we did a pretty good job, guys. It's looking pretty clear. Oh, my gosh. Another long hang. So, yeah, I think... I don't know what to say. We've Now, with any luck over time, this is going to clear out. Let's just do that. That's oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that, but it's one way to find out if anybody's around. This truck is actually an, kind of an okay truck. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull this um, trailer out. I mean, it's great. It's scratched up pretty good, but Yeah, so I just called out, so that, accidentally. So that should tell us if anybody's in the neighborhood. It's actually kind of, this is kind of good, I mean. It's very nice to have a working truck here. I mean, it's, a, it's quite a find, but. We'll just park it over here. God, oh, just died. Okay, good. <laughs> Unintentional parking there. Take a quick peek at it. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, did what it needed to do. Um, let's drop the gas can here. Guess we need to move that thing. All right, so. We'll do a quick walk around. Um, I guess let's do a drive around. Why am I walking? We don't need to walk. Let's go. Let's just get the cop car again. And uh, gee, I, I might have overshot it here. Yeah, I forgot my cop car was all the way up here. So, and we're super tired. So this is it for the the night. We're just gonna do a quick drive around to see who's who's around. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to come back tomorrow. And I think we're gonna come back tomorrow with the the truck. Yeah, all the more reason to do your burns far away from where you want to exist because the frame rate hitch is really a, a problem. Okay, this is good, guys. Very, very quiet here. Going to be a couple probably. In, oh yeah, a few, few in here. Let's, we'll do these right now. Uh, we'll save them for tomorrow. We'll be, we'll be plenty um, rested for that. Good. So there, that's looking really nice, guys. That's how I want to see it. Um, and there's also the U store too. So let's head home. We'll rest up and we'll we'll trip out here and see what's going on in the morning. All right, guys, so I think we're going to cut it there. Um, you know, we've done a fair bit, and we finally succeeded in burning out that whole area. So the looting itself, I think, is going to be a separate episode. So let's, let's just cut it there, and we'll catch up next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.